Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on testing. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Welcome to Acute Kidney Injury, aka AKI, aka, ah oh crap. AKA can be daunting, so we're going to walk through this salty, meaty memory palace, which you can return to anytime you need an organized diagnostic approach to acute kidney injury. Since the kidneys are just enigmatic blobs of mystery, humans have created a bunch of definitions and criteria for AKI. Most recently, the Nerd Squad in charge of kidney disease, Improving Global Outcomes, or KDGO, says that you should freak out when any of the following occurs. Number one an increase in serum creatinine by at least 0.3 milligrams per deciliter within 48 hours. Number two, a 50% increase in creatinine above the baseline within seven days. Or number three, a urine output of less than 0.5 milliliters per kilogram per hour for at least six hours. It's important to understand that AKA is not a singular disease with a predictable presentation and set treatment plan. Presentation and management will depend on which of the many possible causes are at play. But before you sink to the floor to commence pseudo-seizing, I have good news! We can corral all the causes of AKI into three main diagnosis buckets. Pre-renal, intrarenal, and post-renal. So before we even get into the staggeringly long list of causes, this video will help you decide which bucket your patient's kidneys have fallen into. Here is a general overview of the diagnostic approach. As you can see, you can use blood, urine, and possibly imaging to narrow down your differential diagnosis. To give you a clear framework to approach AKI, we're presenting a clean, simple, step-by-step -step approach by pretending, for now, that the kidneys are not attached to a complicated human body. Obviously, in reality, the history and physical findings will dictate what you order and when, and the results will trickle in unpredictably, while you are juggling seven patients, dodging vomit, and trying to decide if you should just get yourself a foley with a leg bag so you can cross urinate in a toilet off your to-do list. Okay, let's turn our algorithm into a memory palace and start our adventure through it. Our first step in Mega King is the pre-renal area on the far left. In order for the kidneys to filter out BUN, creatinine, and other toxic crap, blood has to be shoved through the glomerulus. So if there isn't enough fluid in the arteries or enough oomph from the heart pump, you're going to get pre-renal AKI. The kidney nephrons will then do everything they can to increase the pre-renal fluid pressure by reabsorbing sodium and urea so that water will follow. We can use this response to our diagnostic advantage. Kidneys desperately clinging to sodium will cause a urine sodium concentration of less than 20 milliequivalents per liter and a fractional excretion of sodium less than 1%. If the patient is on a diuretic, which messes with sodium reabsorption, look for a fractional excretion of urea less than 35% instead. 